I grew up watching the RBS Six Nations and one of my earliest rugby memories is sitting in the sitting room of my house in Marrows and watching David Soule walking out onto the pitch in 1990. And so that's obviously an iconic moment in Scottish sports. So to actually be playing in it now is a huge honour and I feel very, very lucky to be able to do it. I play rugby because the place I'm from is a place called 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 Melrose, which is in the borders of Scotland and it's a, it's a town that is absolutely rugby daft and I started playing when I was four and then I played for Melrose right up through the age groups and I feel that I'm very lucky to call that my home club. Every time I play I want to make certain people proud, I want to make my wife proud, I want to make my kids proud and so that's the thing that I always think of is what do I want them to feel when they're watching me and so that's what I strive through every time I play and as I said as a Scotland team you know what we need to make sure that we do every time we play is that we just make Scotland proud and that's what we always strive to do. For me you know the pressure that I feel out on a rugby pitch is nowhere near as much pressure as I feel whenever I'm asked to speak because as a stammerer there's a lot of pressure in that you're expected to to be to be fluent. One of my earliest memories is I was in school and I was asked if I would speak to the whole school in the assembly and so I planned the scripts and I stood up and I could not say a word and when you're I don't know nine or ten that can be quite a traumatic experience but it's something I've had since then and it's part of me and as I say I know as long as I work hard on my speech and as long as I do the preparation that most of the time I'm in control of my stammer as opposed to my stammer being in control of me and my stammer dictating my life.